How can I erase the memory of my mother leaving me when I was six months old? I came to the realization that it was a memory that it's always going to be in my head. It's not something that gets removed over time. Uh, it's what we do if we put in the time and the work to think of new things for ourselves on. I think that I was focusing more on externals of my mother when I could be programming my own mind on what I focus, on what I visualize, what books or contents that I'm consuming, whether I'm getting proper sleep or exercise or diet. I was listening to the new psychology of winning and Dennis was saying it's kind of like layering a cake. If you have a memory, whether you got dumped or maybe your parent died, my housemate, yeah, just passed away the other day ago. Uh, rest in peace, Oscar. I always enjoyed talking to you. Uh, we cook for each other and he taught me a lot about life and in general. Uh, he really loved his family, his grandkids, those kinds of things. It's like layering a cake where you have these memories and they're always going to be there, but you're going to be layering and stacking on your new habits, your new programs the things that you want in life and it's a lot about visualization and actually doing it. It's the same thing as what you're doing in school where you're reading a book, you're learning. For example, nursing school, they have practical skills where you learn the procedure and then you actually do it. Or if you're a software coder, you see somebody on YouTube, you read the tutorial and then you actually get a chance to do it. In life, accepting life for how it is and not for how I want it to be because if I am blaming myself for certain things, it's not necessarily a good thing. I should be accountable for my actions. I shouldn't blame myself because sometimes things just happen. For example, I was going to record this video right now and the landscapers came and I was thinking, oh, they're here, so I can't record right now. It gave me an opportunity to type this out. This is the Danco Genius something. It's an idea bank and it gives us a template of how we could type out our ideas and structure them in a video. This is my first time using his structure. He's pretty smart, check out his channel. He's kind of boring honestly, but he knows what he's talking about. And I liked one thing that he said, find the books and read the books that excite you, that could help you with whatever you're trying to do in life. And you are the niche, you are the product, your interests essentially. Life isn't black and white, because what I'm saying is accept life for how it is and not for what I want. It is true. If I could visualize what I want, I could try to control things that, were, that are in my control. I can control whether I work out, what I'm doing, what I'm consuming today, versus I can't control getting money back from somebody who owes me money. These are the kinds of things where you focus your direction on is what you would be creating in your mind. Some books that I got into the past couple of years were The New Psychology of Winning, Dennis Whaley, he's 90 years old. If you could think of man's problems, your problems, you are unique in your interests. A lot of your problems, they're shared problems that have been experienced by people in the past. I was reading his book and he was talking about inflation and news and, and war and these kinds of things and the exact same things that are happening today. If I could more focus on myself and to try and figure out how to live more happier because the strategies that I used when I was a teen, 20s, 30s, I thought I had a lot of runway. Now I'm 41, I'm in the second half of my life, I want to get out of the limited mind, scarce mindset that I had from when I was a kid. A lot of your education, these are problems that you would have. And from day one to five years old, you're learning from your parents, your culture, your economic status, your location, and your family structure. The benefits are to uh, build a better relationship with myself. It's not necessarily me seeking externals from a friend or a woman because I'll always have myself and I have 50 to 60,000 thoughts in a day. I have to learn how to communicate with myself 
That's why I want the Toastmasters to try and learn. Since my mother bounced when I was six months old, I didn't get that teaching of how to love myself. It transfers into my adult life. I'm pretty sure it transfers into your adult life because once I was aware of these kinds of things, I could see similar trends, similar problems. We attract mirrors of ourselves and other people that we meet. My culture, Asian American, I live in America. Sometimes I could feel like an outsider. I could be thinking, or I could be thinking that I'm a foreigner. I'm not a foreigner. My parents were in the working class. I, I grew up on the, the lower income side. I grew up upstate New York. It wasn't very diverse. And I, I had to fight a lot in school because I was different. I got bullied, I got made fun of. If you could do martial arts, get stronger, both physically, mentally, those are things that could help you. If you're struggling at home as a kid, you don't like where you are, get a job. And try and be more independent so that you don't have to ask people for a lot of things. You could try and solve your own problems. Feel worthy of being able to ask for help when you do need it, if you're in school, if you're at work. Build a relationship with yourself. These are benefits to solving the problems. Learn how to have kindness, compassion, and understanding for yourself because if you can see yourself and understand that you do have blessings and you do have good things, and on the other side, you're not perfect. And that is how you have kindness, compassion, and understanding for other people. Learn to see value in other people because you treat people based off of how you feel about yourself. It's never personal. If you're getting rejected or if somebody doesn't want to be with you or they don't do something, because everybody has their own objectives in life. And it's more important for myself to focus on myself and you to focus on you. Learn how to live a happier life. Learn how to communicate with yourself and befriend yourself because you always have yourself. Spend the most time with yourself as well. I was reading in that book, he said, you don't reach happiness. You live a happy life and that's what you focus on every single day. It's similar to working out where you don't necessarily reach a peak of fitness. It's something that you need to maintain every single day to build up to that. I dieted for five days. That's what, 500 times five, it's 2,500 calories. If I overeat on the two days, it could cancel out what I did on the five days. It's similar to life where you have to be on point. You have to track these kinds of things if you want to be on the top tier of what you're trying to do in life. I think in older life, I'm trying to extend the quality of life. Because when I was a kid, I thought that I wouldn't live beyond 65. The average age of death is about 80. For men, they project that it's around 70. People can live a lot longer. It depends on how you live your life because biologically, I'm 41 and a half. Physiologically, I would say I'm a lot younger. Based on the things that I'm doing, I often wonder, do I love myself? How can I learn to love myself? And it's the actions that you take. It's what you do every day. They would prove if you love yourself. And if I didn't love myself, for example, in the past, I was still trying to find myself. I was more depressed. I was leaning on the dark side. I thought I'd delete a lot. I was wondering, why am I thinking about this? Why do I not care about my life? It's because I didn't see the value in it. I didn't love myself. And if I could more focus on reading positive content books, getting smarter, I would learn how to value myself so that I could value other people. There was one time I was working for a software company. One of the head guys, he said, you're negative. I was aware of it and I was thinking, it's true. I thank you for saying it because I was more focused on the pessimistic side of things not working versus things that do work. And if you think of today, we live in a pretty peaceful time, or I do. 99% of the time, statistically, they're good days. I get to have peace, I get to work, I get to do my hobbies, those kinds of things. Versus maybe less than 1% of the time, that's why it's more important to focus on the positive aspects of life. Because life is hard, I would have to set myself up for success, expect to be successful.
I could see myself in the past, I could see my parents. Ask yourself, is that what you want? Is that what you're gonna settle for? Or do you want more? Do you want to improve? I think statistically, when people retire, they're not learning new things. The drive to live, it goes away. For example, if maybe your spouse dies, your will to live, it diminishes. That's why sometimes in a nursing home, if the husband dies, the wife dies soon after, or vice versa. Always be learning, always be closing. Have faith in faith, focus on your blessings, you can write them out. Understand that you have a lot of blessings, your mind, time, opportunity, where you're living, your location. These are advantages that you could have. I'm only five, six and a half, but I can walk, I have my abilities. I've taken care of people where they didn't have their mind. This one person, he didn't have arms or legs. I had to take care of him. It took me about half an hour to an hour. He was pretty particular and I understood why he was particular because he needed help. The only person that can help you is you. Because I was talking to a health coach and he asked me, I, I gave him my life story of how I grew up with our mother and he said, how can I help you? And I realized that he can't help me. He could guide me, but he can't help me. It's me. It's what I'm looking for. It's what I'm seeking is if I'm looking for good things, I can find the good things. If I'm looking for bad things, I'll find those bad things on YouTube. If you think of it as your universe, it's what you're focusing on at the time. If you looked at my main page, it was about self-development. Recently, it's about cameras because I was doing a bunch of research on cameras on what to buy. I ended up getting the A67 over the ZVE 10 Mark II because it has a mechanical shutter. It's a hybrid camera. You can use it for photography. You can use it for other things. I was also thinking I'm spending a lot of time learning how to use for this camera when I could be learning how to use my mind, learning about myself, how to master myself. Creating a framework, something memorable step by step that could help me solve my problems or ask myself what I really want, ask yourself what you really want, write out or type out the problems. I typed out some of my problems that I had earlier this year stemming from the past because a lot of things from the past they get transferred into your adult life. I don't necessarily have a lot of things. I don't have any debt either. It allows me to focus on myself. I never had any kids because I never wanted to risk what happened to me to, for me to do that to a child. I knew that I still needed to work on myself and to figure things out. I need to be aware of how I speak. If I say, don't drop the phone. I'm thinking about dropping the phone. I'm not thinking about holding it in my hand. Don't fail the test. Focus on saying, I will study and I will do my best to pass. These kinds of things, how you're communicating, how you're thinking, how you're speaking, you might think it's minor, but it's pretty impactful. It's important how you're speaking because if I say, don't think of a pink elephant, you thought of a pink elephant. How you're speaking, that matters a lot. You can tell how the person feels about themselves, how they think about themselves, because how I think about myself, how I feel about myself, I project it to the world based on how I'm talking, how I'm speaking, how I look. And to align my mind and my heart into one, it's been one of the biggest challenges for me in my life. For sure, life isn't black and white. There are exceptions on you want to be balanced in the things that you're doing. Focus on these kinds of books, your role models, the people who you want to be like and study them and try and implement some of their practices into your life, my life. When I'm speaking, I should speak about myself instead of saying, for example, I will go walk today versus you should go walk today. Because when I say, I will go walk today, I'm talking about me. Versus if I say, you should go walk, it's to someone else that has nothing to do with me. I am trying to help myself to help you guys. It's more about me. Track the things that you're doing in a day, track your time. For example, 
I was watching a Ford Money Mayweather short and he said you sleep for eight hours, you work for eight hours, you eat, you get ready, and you do miscellaneous things for four hours and then you have another four hours to improve or work on your passions or do the things that you want to do. Whether you want, you just want to relax. I heard that music or TV, it could make you happy. And it's true, sometimes you would have to watch a movie or, or to listen to music to change your moods. And I like that Abistack book because if I could record a video, I'm learning about myself. I could be helping somebody. These are things that you could have a stack. For example, if I go walk and then I'm listening to an audio book and I'm also doing photography, it's three to four things that, that you could be doing in a day. Realize that your time, it's precious. Your time, your attention, and your resources are precious. If I'm watching a movie or I'm watching content that doesn't serve me at all, I'm giving away my time. I'm making someone else money when I could be using that time for myself to learn to make my own money to improve myself so that I could help other people. My audience is my younger self. How would I help a person in the past? Set Google Calendar events so that they're structured. You're going to negotiate what you're going to do in these times on. You would have a structured plan, alerts. Turn off like notifications, you could delete these social media apps. There's things like taking cold showers or turning your phone to black and white. If it works for you, cool. I personally don't do it, I tried it. Be aware of your behaviors and why do you behave that way. Ask yourself why. Why did I like to drive fast? It's because I'm in survival mode. I didn't trust people. I sold my car. My Mazda Miata, I love that car. I, I used to max it out every day. I drove it like a go-kart. I had to get rid of it for my mental health. Exercise, get proper sleep. My camera just threw up a hot temperature sign. Understand that you're the most powerful person in your reality because you can control what you do. You can't control other people. And focus on what you can do day to day. These things take time to improve, to get better. Failure, it's normal. You'll try, you'll fail, you'll catch, and you'll try again and you'll succeed. And then martial arts, you learn how to defend yourself, confidence, social circle. You learn how to fail so you can learn how to win. It's about giving to yourself so that you could give to others. You could give back on humans, they're social in general. I hope you got something out of this video. Let me know what you guys think, comment down below. Tell me how you guys grew up, because I'm interested. Let me know if what I'm saying resonates with you, how you grew up, did it transfer into your adult life? What kinds of problems do you guys have? How did you solve those kinds of problems? Maybe you could help me, maybe I'll connect with you. Maybe this is a window of how I can connect with other people, because how life plays out, even if it's a bad event, it shapes you. Sometimes it's meant to be. I went to nursing school. I stripped away my position, my job, my relationship dissolved. I was at my lowest point. I said it was a mistake. Financially, it was a bad position, but it allowed me to get on the self-development journey to learn.